Good morning. This is me Nafisa. As we all know, vitamin B12 is a nutrient that has many essential functions in pregnancy. That is in other words, vitamin B12 is an essential nutrient in pregnancy. Today, I would be sharing information about health benefits of vitamin B12 in pregnancy. I have mentioned what is the opposite effect of that particular health benefit when there is a deficiency of vitamin B12. What will be the first health benefit? Giving vitamin B12 prevents and treats vitamin B12 deficiency. Reasons why a pregnant lady may develop vitamin B12 deficiency are Demand is more than the intake NVP or nausea and vomiting of pregnancy Very important to remember that vitamin B12 levels drops during pregnancy but return to normal levels after delivery. Pregnant lady may be on certain medications that affects absorption of nutrients. If she is a vegetarian or is on a, on a vegan diet. Vitamin B12 deficiency is very common in pregnant women with thyroid problems. Problem increases if she is having thyroid problems and is also a vegan. Moreover, if a pregnant lady is not taking foods fortified with vitamin B12. In all these conditions, vitamin B12 supplements prevents and treats vitamin B12 deficiency. Kindly note, for easy understanding, I have mentioned in pink cell color. What is the opposite effect of that particular health benefit when there is a deficiency of vitamin B12? In order to understand the next health benefit, let's start from the basics. When we eat food, proteins in the food is digested or broken down in our body to form amino acids. One of the amino acid is homocysteine. Remember, homocysteine is not found in the foods, but homocysteine is formed in our body. Vitamin B12 along with vitamin B9 plays an important role in the conversion of homocysteine to methionine. Therefore, homocysteine is in low levels in blood. Homocysteine in low levels is not harmful. If there is a deficiency of vitamin B12 or vitamin B9, then homocysteine is not converted to methionine. Hence, homocysteine increases in blood. Hence, results in high levels of homocysteine in blood. High levels of homocysteine in blood is dangerous. This is easy to explain. Vitamin B12 or vitamin B9 breaks down homocysteine to methionine. Hence, if there is a deficiency of vitamin B12 or vitamin B9, it will cause increase in homocysteine levels in blood. High levels of homocysteine in blood. High levels in Hindi is called as asadharan ya atyadhik level. Another word in English is hyper. High levels of what? High levels of homocysteine. Where is high levels of homocysteine present in the body? High levels of homocysteine is there in blood. Blood in medicine is also called as emia. So when there is high levels of homocysteine in blood, this condition is called as Hyperhomocysteinemia. Pronounce it as hyperhomocysteinemia. Hyperhomocysteinemia. If a pregnant lady has increased homocysteine levels in the blood for a very long time, this may increase the risk for miscarriage, repeated miscarriage, preeclampsia, preterm delivery or preterm labor. Preterm birth, low birth weight, intrauterine growth restriction or intrauterine growth retardation. Can I call all of these as pregnancy complications? These pregnancy complications may lead to pregnancy loss. During pregnancy, methylcobalamin active form of vitamin B12 and L-methylfolate active form of vitamin B9 is more preferable because methyl groups from methylcobalamin and L-methylfolate helps in the conversion of homocysteine to methionine, therefore maintains normal homocysteine levels. Maintaining normal homocysteine levels in pregnancy is very important in reducing risk of pregnancy complications and hence reducing pregnancy loss. Nervous system is made up of nervous tissue. Nervous tissue is made up of nervous cells or nerve cells. Each nerve cell is called as a neuron. Neuron is exactly like the palm of our hand. 
healthy nerve cell or healthy neuron is covered with the help of myelin sheath hence myelin sheath protects the nerves nerves is also called as neuro so can i say as neuro protection who makes myelin sheath vitamin b12 helps in the formation of myelin sheath just for your information vitamin b6 also helps in the formation of myelin sheath myelin sheath protects the nerves nerves is also called as neuro so can i say as neuro protection vitamin b6 and vitamin b12 helps in neuro protection because of vitamin b12 deficiency myelin sheath is not formed what is the opposite of neuro protection break up the words nerves are protected so now tell me what is the opposite nerves are protected is neuro protection so opposite of neuro protection is nerve damage nerves is also called as neuro and damage is called as pathy so nerve damage is called as neuropathy signs or symptoms of neuropathy are tingling sensation in the hands and feet and numbness because of myelin sheath there is proper transmission of signals within the brain hence helps in healthy functioning of the nervous system or in simple words maintains brain health vitamin b12 deficiency results in decline or deterioration in the brain function that is confusion problems concentrating forgetting day to day tasks that needs to be done also referred to as memory loss or dementia shown here a healthy nerve cell or a healthy neuron in which myelin sheath is formed therefore neuro protection or nerves are protected also i have shown a damaged nerve cell or a damaged neuron in which myelin sheath is not formed therefore nerves are damaged that is neuropathy both vitamin b6 and vitamin b12 offers neuro protection both vitamin b6 and vitamin b12 will help in myelin sheath synthesis therefore decreases tingling sensation and decreases numbness placenta provides oxygen and nutrients to the growing baby and removes the waste products from the baby's blood via the umbilical cord vitamin b12 is transferred through the placenta to the fetus during pregnancy hence rda of vitamin b12 for pregnant women is 2.6 micrograms daily which is slightly higher than that of general population which is 2.4 micrograms daily why because during pregnancy vitamin b12 is essential for the baby's neural tube formation that is helps in brain and spinal cord development if there is vitamin b12 deficiency in the pregnant women then b12 will not be transferred to the fetus which increases the risk of serious birth defect known as neural tube defects in the fetus neural tube defects are the defects of the brain and the spinal cord therefore during pregnancy vitamin b12 supplements are often combined with folic acid supplements or l methylfolate supplements to prevent neural tube defects vitamin b12 is excreted in the breast milk during lactation hence rda of vitamin b12 for breast feeding women is 2.8 micrograms daily which is slightly more higher than that of pregnant women which is 2.6 micrograms why because infants also need vitamin b12 for the development of the baby's brain if there is a vitamin b12 deficiency in the lactating women then b12 will not be excreted in the human breast milk moreover if deficiency of vitamin b12 is untreated in infants then leads to permanent brain damage vitamin b12 helps in the synthesis of neurotransmitters like serotonin and melatonin which may help improve mood memory and sleep vitamin b12 deficiency results in depression memory loss that is dementia or sleeplessness that is insomnia vitamin b12 helps in the proper functioning of the nervous system because vitamin b12 helps in neurotransmitter synthesis as mentioned here and also in myelin synthesis as mentioned above as we all know human beings are made up of millions and millions of cells each cell has a cell nucleus this nucleus contains the hereditary material deoxyribonucleic acid better known as dna dna is a genetic map 
and a basic building block of cells. For the cells to multiply, one nucleus divides into two nuclei. That is, each time a cell divides, it has to make a copy of its DNA. Vitamin B12 along with vitamin B9 helps in the DNA synthesis, therefore helps in cell multiplication and cell division. Cell division is a process whereby one cell divides to form two cells. Two cells will divide to form four cells and four cells will form eight cells. Since cells multiplication is taking place, hence referred to as cell division and cell multiplication. Vitamin B12 along with vitamin B9 helps in the DNA synthesis, therefore helps in cell multiplication and cell division. Cell multiplication and cell division becomes increasingly important to make new cells. Vitamin B12 and vitamin B9 helps to make new cells. Who needs to make new cells? Everyone. But who needs it more? Pregnant lady. Why? Pregnant lady means two lives and both pregnant lady and the fetus needs vitamin B12 and vitamin B9 to make new cells. During pregnancy, new cells formed will help in the growth and development of the placenta in the pregnant lady and also helps in the proper organ development and hence normal growth and development of the fetus. During lactation helps in the development of the baby. Maternal vitamin B12 deficiency during pregnancy leads to pregnancy complications in the pregnant lady and results in poor growth and development in the womb resulting in low birth weight in infants and during lactation results in developmental delay in the babies. I have just mentioned that vitamin B12 and vitamin B9 both are required for the cell multiplication and cell division. One of the cells is RBCs. Vitamin B12 along with vitamin B9 is required for RBCs multiplication. RBCs is required both by the pregnant lady and the fetus. Because of RBCs multiplication, blood formation takes place. Please understand, adults have 5 liters of blood. During pregnancy, requirement increases to additional 1.5 liters of blood. And hence, in pregnancy, RBCs multiplication is very, very important. Now, do you understand why iron supplements are given to a pregnant lady? And if there is vitamin B12 deficiency, then RBCs will not multiply. Therefore, less RBCs, hence less blood. If there is less blood, this condition is called as anemia. We have learnt in school that RBCs carries oxygen to all the cells of the body. If there is vitamin B12 deficiency, then less oxygen to the cells of the body. Hence, symptoms like breathlessness and fatigue are experienced. Vitamin B12 and vitamin B9 helps in the RBCs multiplication and hence helps in blood formation. Vitamin B12 helps in energy production. How does vitamin B12 increase energy levels? Because vitamin B12 helps in the metabolism of proteins, fats and carbohydrates. In pregnancy, energy is needed by both the pregnant lady as well as the fetus. Please note, vitamin B12 will increase energy levels in only those who are deficient in vitamin B12. There is no evidence to show that vitamin B12 supplements will increase energy levels in those who are having sufficient levels of vitamin B12 in them. If there is a deficiency of vitamin B12, then results in chronic fatigue. Fatigue is because of two reasons. Less RBCs multiplication, so less oxygen to the cells of the body and hence fatigue is experienced. Second reason is because of less energy production. Vitamin B12 helps in muscle development. Vitamin B12 deficiency results in muscle weakness. During pregnancy, there is a link between low levels of vitamin B12, hyperhomocysteinemia, anemia and hypothyroidism. Let's see how. Remember, I told you, levels of vitamin B12 drops during pregnancy but returns to normal levels after delivery. If there is a vitamin B9 deficiency or vitamin B12 deficiency, then homocysteine is not converted to methionine. 
so increases levels of homocysteine in the blood therefore results in a condition called as hyperhomocysteinemia which may increase the risk for pregnancy complications like miscarriage preeclampsia preterm delivery preterm birth low birth weight intrauterine growth retardation which may lead to pregnancy loss since homocysteine is not converted to methionine so dna synthesis will not take place and hence cell division and cell multiplication will not take place one of the cells is rbc so rbc cells will also not multiply therefore leads to anemia one more important thing thyroid hormone levels may change during pregnancy during pregnancy if the thyroid gland produces less thyroid hormones then this condition is called as hypothyroidism thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped gland present in front of a person's neck this gland releases hormones that helps in rbc's formation so hypothyroidism leads to anemia moreover hypothyroidism is another reason for increasing homocysteine levels in the blood that is causes hyperhomocysteinemia and if hyperhomocysteinemia is there then this leads to pregnancy complications which may lead to pregnancy loss and also causes anemia women who consume recommended amounts of vitamin b12 either through food or fortified foods or through supplements during pregnancy and lactation have healthy pregnancy and healthy baby